Hello guys, this is Mauro from Beautifultech.com and in this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 10.0.49 uh, This is a new build that just released to the uh, fast ring of updates and it comes out two weeks after the uh, build 10.0.41 and it doesn't include too many changes but it does fix some, uh, some, uh, some of the issues that were found in the, uh, in the previous build and it does come with a few additions like uh, Project Spartan, which is the uh, the new web browser, and some things and uh, here and there has changed also. So before we get into the um, into the big change, which is uh, Project Spartan, just want to point out that in this bill, now we have the uh, voice recorder, calculator, and Microsoft has renamed alarms to alarms and clock apps, and all these apps now have a uh, wide or like great theme that it seems that is the direction that Microsoft is going with these uh, with these apps so there has like um, been tweaked a little bit but uh, more than anything the uh, the biggest change is now they have a, um, a new look and they're not black anymore uh, so let me just, just minimize this also uh, on this bill um, Microsoft is releasing I have it right here um, it's releasing two new apps uh, for Windows 10 which is yeah, the new music and video which they're in preview they don't come included on the um, on the actual uh, Windows 10 uh, update but you can uh, download them I, I, I can put the, uh, the link uh, at the end of the video or in, in the comments below and right here you can just click the link and it will take you to um, to the Microsoft Store and uh, and that automatically will open the uh, the store beta so you can download and install them. So these two new apps are going to replace the um, the music and video apps that you were used to in uh, Windows 8.1. And I just want to show you really quick, they're really buggy. And I just want to show you right here. I was, uh, you see, like, I was watching a video and it's already giving me an, an error. So I have this video right here from the uh, actual uh, Windows Store. And this is how it looks like. Also, like you see the um, the interface, it's, it's, it's great. And it's not black anymore, like in the preview, uh, in the previous um, versions. And it's using the uh, the same icons that Microsoft is using throughout Windows 10, with the uh, theme design and just the um, and, and, and this kind of uh, icons. So from here, you can also access to the store. And as you can see, I cannot do that right now, but you'll be able to do that. Um, Playing videos works okay if I can if I can make sure I get it to run. It is a known issue that it takes a long time to start a video, but uh, it does work. It just take a it just takes a while. They crash and the apps also you know they don't work well, so they're in the early stages. So that's the uh, video uh, preview that's gonna come out for Windows 10, and we also have the um, the new music preview app which is the same thing it has like a, a new theme color and and it's and it's very familiar to the uh, to the preview to the previous uh, version that you used to use in in Windows 8.1 uh, you also get the settings right here which is really nice and now we're seeing more and more that uh, the settings are coming inside of the the apps instead of uh, the flyout menu and as you can see this um, if I restart the computer I might get the settings to come out up on the top and see all the settings that you can change but uh, it seems that now it's, um, it's, it's not working really well and okay so now you have different sections you got the same icons that you will you will start seeing in Windows 10 and everything works I mean, you know, I mean, you can play music uh, uh, locally from the uh, Xbox uh, music library, and if you store um, uh, files on OneDrive, you can also access through the uh, music preview. 
So these are two new apps that I recommend you to test if you are running the uh, Windows 10 technical preview. They're nice, but they still have a lot of work to do. Microsoft is saying that it's going to add more features as they release new updates. But you know that's going to come with time, and and they're going to come, and they're going to be better over time. All right, so um, all right, so we talked about that uh, their fixes. Um, so it makes this uh, build a little more stable. However, because this uh, the build 10.049 has been released to the uh, fast ring of updates, uh, it's not it's not recommended to be installed as your primary uh, operating system. So this uh, will recommend you to use it on on a virtual machine whenever possible. So all right, so let's uh, let's get right into the uh, actual uh, biggest changes that you will find in the Windows 10 uh, build 10.049, which is uh, Project Spartan. As you can see right here, this is the first preview that uh, Microsoft is releasing for everyone to test. Uh, like the uh, like the music preview and the video preview is still in the early stages, and there is a lot that have to be done before it's ready for prime time. And hopefully Microsoft will get it ready for the summertime when that's when Windows 10 is going to ship. Project Spartan now will be the um, the default web browser for Windows 10 and that's that's a sign that our um, Internet Explorer is fading away. As you will see now in this new build and coming builds and even when Windows um, launches is that uh, you will not see it anymore um, the uh, Windows 10 I mean Internet Explorer pin to the taskbar, I pinned this in here, but you only see Project Spartan. And even if you go to the um, to the Start menu and you will go to the All Apps, you won't see Internet Explorer anywhere. Though you can still do a search and find the app and start it. But the uh, the main reason is because Microsoft is discontinuing Internet Explorer in favor of the uh, Project Spartan. So the uh, Internet Explorer is going to be only for uh, legacy support and Project Spartan will be the uh, the main browser for all Windows 10 devices. All right, one of the big uh, big features that you will find on Project Spartan right now is that now we can uh, make notes on web pages and send it to uh, to friends or family or coworkers. This is very useful if you um, need to send something to someone. Or you're just working an article and you just need to tell someone to edit something so it's it's really convenient uh, at times you you will know when the time is right to use it but as you can see right now you, you see is uh, um, a new icon right here on, on the top uh, and just felt and just crashed on me you will see this icon on the uh, on the uh, top right corner that uh, that it says make a web note you can click that and now it's not letting me use it. Let me figure it out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, I had to restart the uh, virtual machine because it was no way for me to start um, the web browser. All right, so uh, now I can click on the uh, make a web note and now you will see that it get a, a new like toolbar uh, with different options. And now we can actually draw I can use my fingers now I'm using my fingers to write and you can make notes on on a web page and if you want to highlight you can just change the highlighter and I guess you can change colors too and you can just mark and even add a comment like I uh, like this and then um, once you're done doing all the uh, things that you know all the annotations you can save it and this gonna go straight to uh, OneNote or you can click this uh, share button right here and that will open a flyout menu and it will tell you the apps that you have available to share this um, uh, this web node it actually I don't know if you saw it but um, but the screen kind of flashed when uh, when it clicked share and that takes a snapshot of the um, uh, of, of the web page that I annotated 
and it will let me send it to um, uh, to social networks or uh, or using the, uh, the the mail application. I don't have that installed already, so it doesn't show up. But it's something that you can you can do. All right, so you can just click exit from there, and then you go back to to the web page to the actual web page. Another feature you have an um, and projects partner. Uh, let me see. Well, let me do this now. As you can see right now, the uh, the the book icon was uh, grayed out, and now it's uh, now it's lit. So basically, this is what allows me to go into uh, reading mode. It makes the web the web page more readable. It gets just rid of all the uh, clutter, and it basically it's like uh, making uh, a PDF or an ebook out of a web page. And so that's really nice if if the website has like too many ads or you just want to read and uh, and you don't want to have a lot of distractions. So that's a really nice feature to have. And then we also have to add to favorites, so you can add the um, the web page to your favorites. You can add as you see things that are not working right. As you see, like the uh, the fonts, they're not they're you know the design is not well enough yet. But you can just add that to the um, <clears throat> to your favorites, and you see now that it the status right there, so you can see that it's bookmarked. So the uh, the folder with the star is your favorites. Once you go to your favorites, uh, you can see all the stuff that you had uh, favorite, and you also have your your written list, which which is another feature on Project Spartan that allows you to save web pages for uh, for later viewing. Let me see if I can uh, uh, select all. Um, well, it's not letting me uh, save a picture open. No, that's nothing. Well, it seems that um, adding to re uh, written list is not enabled yet on this bill. And if it does, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, also, you can send a feedback if you like to Microsoft. You can just click the smiley, the smiley face, and you can tell them what you like, what you don't like, or report any issues. Um, okay, clicking the uh, the dot 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 will get you access to the uh, main um, to the main menu, which allows you to open uh, a new window. Uh, control the zoom of the page, share, uh, find on the page, print, go to settings, and we even have the FTL developer tools. One thing that I want to show you too is that you, uh, this um, project Spartan doesn't include the, um, for some reason, doesn't include the uh, the full screen button right here on the top with the uh, with the close and minimize and uh, with the maximize and minimize button. It's just right here on. On this uh, on this menu, you can just click there, and it will go into uh, uh, full mode. That it even gets rid of the uh, taskbar, but you can still get access to the address uh, to the address bar. So let me just go back. Back here. Let me see. All right, so we can get out of uh, full screen by clicking the same. Same button. Oh, again, it crashed. Let me see if I can get us get it started. Also, I want to show you that uh, when you go to, to a secure site, you can you can access the information of the uh, of the web. Oh, again, keep crashing. Sorry about that, guys. That's that's beta software for you. Seeing that it's crashing a lot, I'm just gonna go through all the uh, settings as fast as, uh, as I can, so we don't have to keep restarting the uh, uh, the software. So let me just uh, show you that going to the uh, uh, to the settings menu, we can actually go to the settings, and we can actually add, we can actually control some of the uh, settings for the uh, for the web browser. We can show our favorites bar. Uh, we can change the um, the reading view styles and font. Uh, what page we want to use at the startup, and here's where we can change the default um, the default uh, um, 
web page that you want when the uh, when you open uh, Project Spartan. And let's just do Bing.com, and then we just save that. Then when we close and we open, we'll get instead of MSN, we'll go to Bing.com. Um, uh, we can clear the, the privacy settings, block pop-ups, nothing major, send do not track request, and we can you know also you know there is some options that are off, but that's because Microsoft's working on those. So for example, like help to protect malicious sites, it's it's on by default, and here also this is a, a good add-on, and this is the add-on section, and it allows you to. Uh, switch and turn off, uh, switch on and off um, Adobe Flash, which is really nice. So you, we can start, which is a way that uh, enables us to start getting rid of you know, Adobe Player and just use it when we need it and avoid it as much as possible. Another thing I wanted to show you is that uh, for developers, the F12 uh, tools are right built in. Also, it's uh, this is some beta. It's not working really well. But you know those who design websites and need to access to the uh, um, uh, to different tools to to build websites or web apps, uh, you can access right here on the web in, on the uh, you can access the uh, F twelve F tools like in uh, Internet Explorer eleven. And inter interesting enough, it's not attached to the web browser. It's a uh, it's like a it's popped out. So this might change in the future, but this is still in the early stages. So we can uh, assume that a lot of things are going to change. They're not going to look the same either. All right. So another thing, uh, the Microsoft said that uh, it's coming to the web browser are the uh, extensions like Chrome, like, like in Chrome and Firefox, but that doesn't seem to be a part of uh, this bill. All right. So uh, Microsoft said that um. Uh, Cortana will be part of this um, build of uh, Project Spartan, and a lot of in a lot of websites you won't see it. Pretty much on any in any website you won't see how Cortana uh, can help you out. But Microsoft has um, uh, a dummy website that shows how everything works. So let me go to this website that Microsoft um, this fake website that Microsoft made that actually gonna allow us uh, to get to the uh, to Cortana as you can see as we get to the uh, to the site we get Cortana that is uh, that it says that uh, has useful information for us and that's the way that she will pop up every time that um, there is a uh, um, reliable information that we need to know for certain places so we can uh, click her right there and she will pull up the information uh, from that restaurant in this case with the uh, with hours directions telephone number uh, re reviews from Yelp I mean ratings photos and, and a lot more uh, let me see if uh, we can actually you see now we can also select a word and ask Cortana and it's, it's giving us the, the definition for that word and dif uh, different important uh, information in this case about Seattle that's and even even the weather information and some other things of interest so this is pretty basic and but you can expect a lot of things to um, to get better and better so all right so yeah that's pretty much everything that it's included on this new bill um, as, as you saw there is a bunch of times where uh, the uh, browser actually crashed on me, so it's going to happen to every uh, to everyone at this stage. But we can expect things to get better over time, and probably in the next build, it's going to get even better, and we can expect even more features. So that was a tour for the uh, Windows 10 build uh, 10049. I hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.